I'll tell you something that's very shocking. It's happening inside the United States of America, and law enforcement is doing nothing about it. And today, we are the victims. Tomorrow, you can be the victims. You should be outraged about this. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Quite a few people, a lot of heartbreaking stories and testimonies. God bless the little people. God bless them and the courage that they have. Restore the rule of law. 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 Everybody is connected to AI, artificial intelligence, and that of our government supercomputers by electromagnetic radio frequency, acoustics, and scalar pulse phase array, infrasound, infrared, working that of nanotechnologies inside the human body. Everybody is going to be brought online by the 5G network. These weapons technologies are de debilitating the health of all nation citizens around the world. 
They are part of an extermination program. Slow kill weapons technologies. They have an agenda. It is written on the George, Georgia stone hinges, which is not a prediction, but it is a mandated law that here in the years to come and right now, they are reducing the world population down from 7.5 billion people, citizens on the face of the planet, down to approximately 200 million, never to exceed 500 million people on the face of the planet ever again. They have picked up where Hitler left off and they have continued it. Hitler's number one agenda was to eradicate all bloodlines to create a master race. Our government has adopted that around the world and this is what they are doing. Be not fooled, 5G network is to bring everybody online. We, the victims and MK Ultra subjects versus targeted individuals, are the test subjects of these murderous applications in which they have mastered. Nanotechnologies and microchips are in every citizen from kin chills, smart dust, vaccines, the very food and water that you drink. We are all online right now. Your thoughts, your mind, everything is being recorded. It isn't just by your telephone wires or video cameras set up. It is by these technologies. Boy, I tell you, kind of takes the breath out of you. <laughs> it is a very good day, a very good turnout. There's a lot of good people here telling their stories, sharing their pains, their heartaches, trying to prevent this from happening to you, trying to wake you up to it so that you are aware of what is happening. They're not only fighting for their lives and the lives of their loved ones, they're fighting for you, the people. Only the people can stop this. They won't allow it into the courts. It doesn't matter what kind of evidence you have, even though it is solid evidence, proof, facts, backed by scientific knowledge, photo, video, audio, evidence, in relation to these crimes and technologies, including that of cloaking technologies. And I would like to address cloaking. In 2009-2010, our government made a national commercial in relation to law enforcement officers related to drunk drivers on this national commercial posted in every state across our nation. It depicted cloaking officers vehicles and cloaking officers showing their cars cloaked even officers cloaked standing on a sidewalk with people passing right by them and the citizens were unable to see them but you were able to see them on the TV screen via that of uh, more or less uh, hologram uh, projection uh, to show you the capabilities of these technologies. It showed their clothes, their uniforms, their faces, but the people by the naked eye could not see them. Now then, the storyline of that commercial. They had their cars parked in the alley, officers standing on the streets, people walking by them not even noticing the vehicles or the officers were there. Another gentleman walks out of the bar, gets in his car after closing time, begins driving away. The officer uncloaked his vehicle, turned on his lights, pulled him over. The caption of it was, don't drink and drive. We will see you long before you ever see us. That is also proof and evidence of these technologies that they showed specifically to the public. This is powerful. Know the truth, hear the truth, see truth, acknowledge truth, and nothing but truth.
I'm gonna try and get ahead of the crowd up here. You're walking too fast for a cripple, man, I tell you that much. I'll show part of the Capitol and all the people out here in the park. There are quite a bit. Um, earlier, I'd have to say there were literally thousands of people down here. Uh, there's still quite a few here. Uh, various organizations. Um, everybody marching. Everybody going by each other. Tons of people stopping by. Asking questions. Most of these people that stop and talk and greet to us are fully aware of these technology. They're wanting more information to understand it, to explain the events that they have been subjected to throughout their life. We have the answers. They have the lies. I couldn't quite get in front of them all. <laughs> A lot of hard work people put in here. People put in thousands of miles, hundreds of miles just to get here and to take part in this event. We're not doing this for just our benefit. We're doing it for the benefit of you, the people. Stand up, be proud, take your lives back. Know what is going on and who is accountable for these crimes. Weapons technology application right here. We got marriage going on over here. I wonder if it's some guys. Nah, it don't matter who's getting married, does it? <laughs> uh, that wasn't supposed to be a funny pun joke, but you never know. Either way, good luck to them. And on top of that, they use directed energy weapons to irradiate you to the point of pain and health effects, and sometimes pushing people to the point of suicide. This needs to stop, and the only way it's going to stop is if people like us speak out about it. Restore the rule of law. 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 It's really funny, as if I run, my shorts fall down. Huh. Lost some weight, I guess. That was kind of funny, though, you gotta admit. To hear some of these people's stories, though, it puts tears in your eyes. I'm surprised I'm able to speak about it so well, especially in front of these people. Uh, usually I get very emotional. I choke up. It's hard to speak. Even when I was giving my speeches, you can tell I was being hit with electromagnetic radio frequencies overstimulating me. I can talk all day long and not show any signs of any problems. No different than a teacher or a professor in a school standing up in front of a classroom. But here, every time I go to take the stand or the podium or grab that microphone, they zap me. My whole body is shaking and vibrating. I have to hold on to things near me just to try and downplay what they are doing to me. That is powerful, people. Beautiful. Beautiful.
fusion centers. There's no reason for beat two. There's no reason for beat We're not terrorists. We're not terrorists. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is real. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. All these people here are fighting for your lives, your rights. Women, children, men of all ages here. Bless you, the people. We, the people, are the only thing that can put an end to this. We, the people, are the only ones that can hold them accountable. But we have to stand. We have to stand together before it's too late. They are murdering us off to prevent you from knowing the truth. Once we're gone, you're all that's left. Do not think that this is not going to happen to you, your children, your elderly parents. It is happening right now. We are the front line. This is a war against the citizens of not only our nation, but every nation around the world. This is eradication and extermination of our nation's people. Anything and everything biblical that you have read, trust me, it is 100% related to this and these government programs. They are the writers, the creators, and the designers of everything that is in that Bible. All these weapons have weapons names pertaining to each technology of that of biblical contents, biblical names, the voice of God, Archangel. They are all biblically related, even within our government's own documentations. Some of the best books you will find on this is designed and written by that of the inventors of these same technologies, Dr. Robert Duncan. He has, uh, I believe, five books out now pertaining to these technologies, mind hacking, mind control, mind-to-computer interface technologies, including direct energy weapons in which he helped create. I'm not going to run up and catch them people, man. My arm, shoulder hurts, neck hurts. Whew. Yeah, my pants might fall down. Yeah, I wouldn't bother, that wouldn't bother me, but... Well, at least I wouldn't get embarrassed. But, uh... Why should we be embarrassed or ashamed of who and what we are? Some of this, I'm just trying to get interaction from you, the public. <laughs> There's no shortcuts here. Rhonda's been a trooper out here. You know, and I'm really proud of her. She's been approached by all kinds of strangers versus other TIs. She's telling her story. She's telling them. Usually she lets me do most of the talking. She says that uh, she has broad problems uh, trying to address all these issues, claiming that she don't speak it as well as me. But you know what? It doesn't take nothing to tell your story a truth of events.
be it the rape of her, the torture of her and her children, even the programming of her daughter and her uh, daughter's fiance into two stabbing events that took place at our residence while they detained me, 100% related to these uh, home invasions and programming of the mind, embedded hypnosis is what it is. Embedded hypnosis biotechnologies. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? You know what, I think I got a little bit of exercise there. Sunburn from head to toe and I just don't even care. Right? I don't care. I kind of like the tan though. <laughs> There's no tan there. <laughs> it's coming. Oh yeah, yeah in about it's five coming. days or so. <laughs> right, right, right. Hmm. A little warm out here too. I think it's around 90 some degrees out here. Looks like we all made it back to our station. I wasn't able to get half this uh, march um, on video because I was in the march. I was also carrying posters and diagrams and speaking and stuff. So um, there we go. I'm not sure where it's going to pick up here, but I think everybody's going to need about 10 15 minute break. Kind of uh, catch their breath. Uh, a lot of pe more people want my information, my contact, my websites. Uh, a lot of these uh, people need help. And um, a lot of them here have constantly come up to me saying that, uh, you know, that I'm an excellent speaker. I put it in words and phrases and uh, um, just simplest, simplest form. I'm explaining these weapons technologies are in depth and a very wide, broad spectrum. Um, that, you know, even total strangers here and people in the park are coming up and they're like, wow, guy, I never knew it was that deep, that wide, that broad. But you covered it all, man. You're right on 100%. A lot of these people are telling us that they've been victims for decades, decades. You know, even older people, older women. Um, some of them talking to us about their children and how their children are being victimized by this or that they believe their children are being victimized by this. How they're trying to also get them on mental aspects or some sort of mental ailment to get them on medications and everything else. Um, yes. Marzi. Marzi. Sorry about your mom. I saw thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. I'm glad you made it down here. God bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And as I was speaking, I have chips. Uh -huh. I didn't know. I have chips and it's moving. Yeah. And when I went to the doctor, uh, uh, when I went to the doctor, I put this Shanghai on it. It was hurting and it moved from me to here. And now they are doing this other knee. When I a few minutes ago I was sitting down, it was hurting back here every step. So that chip, when I put it overnight, the Shanghai did move up to here. You could feel it under my the skin oh, right here. So it's cutting through the layers of the fabric of your skin and Probably. tissue. And they told me the doctor gave me. I went for emergency, not for my regular doctor. And the other two people, a member of my family, keep telling me that take care of yourself, go off some aspirin. So the doctors prescribe aspirin, but I'm afraid that if it, it, it has moved since then too, since I'm taking aspirin. Yeah, what's aspirin going to do to it? It so isn't going to do anything. My blood is kind of thick too. My blood is very thick sometimes. Yeah, due to the microwave energy, exactly. it thickens it up. It, it causes plasma. It sucks all the water out and thickens the blood. Exactly. That's why you got all kinds of uh, plaque in your arteries. It is from being microwave. Uh, it is being microwave. That's why your heart's saturated. It isn't from salt and so it's not because my sodium stuff is low I'm not taking so what I'm saying that is this someone that can take off these there was a doctor that used to remove these implants his name was dr. Roger Lear uh -huh. all right he used to remove them but when he removed them he would identify them as alien technologies because the metal base and minerals are not supposedly of this planet not true they are found in our, our meteorites meteorites and they're they're brought back to us from outer space how many rockets do we send up there yearly exactly. what the hell do you think they're bringing back yeah. you got moon rocks you got meteor chunks you yeah. have these technologies uh -huh. so that's why they did it so nobody can recognize these chips uh, well that's just 
they're just saying that he was saying that to throw the to cast the blame off government oh, creating these to cast it out onto an alien species okay, then we cannot catch them. which it is not <laughs> happening we are out there mining these rocks we are out there mining the, these minerals an, off other planets even asteroids and, right now yeah e even in another way for them to pave up the road for an alien invasion right right we've got all the ships right we do those are our ships what we're seeing out there isn't by alien so beings. They are the our doctor? ships. Few of them might be, but 90% of them that we see uh -huh. are that of ours. We've been on this planet for a long time, yeah. and before the 1970s or 60s, tell me, who the hell saw an alien spaceship? Nobody. Nobody. One rare case, maybe every 10, 20 years, maybe there might be an account. But right now, almost every citizen on the face of the planet is seeing ships. This isn't because of an invasion, it is because we have created and developed it. Our government is in league with these uh, ETs or other humanoid beings from other dimensions, for sure. But uh, we have the technology, so we that, are the doing it. So what happened to the doctor? They could renew? I don't care if they... No, are. him and his associate were murdered. Oh. They were removing the microchips from everybody. Him and his associate that worked together on these medical procedures. There's a lot of videos of them on YouTube. They actually were in two different states at the time and murdered within an hour apart of each other. Oh my God. I, uh, over here, I didn't know they had an entrance from here. And I didn't know. And I, I after a while, my head itch, 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 and there's something grow on my head. Yeah. Something grow on my head, and my doctor removed it. Then that doctor's kind of, and he said that, did you get another one? This is, comes in pairs, you know? Uh, like, did you get one on the other side? I said, no, why should I get the other side? I didn't know back then. Only in 2018 that I knew that these things are happening to me. Right. But it's been happening since 2000. Yeah. 2000, even 1999 since I quit from the doctor. Yeah, a lot of these weapons technologies were unleashed on the entire global population in 2004 and right after 2004 when they enacted the Patriot Act. Oh, yeah. This was all intentional. Everything was prearranged, exactly. even the 9/11 attacks. And then attacks. they blame it on Muslims, on us. Yeah, they blame it on other citizens Double. globally. Exactly. It was a home base scenario. Our government is doing this to our citizens. It is another country. You know, you watch videos of other people around the world everywhere. They're no different than you and I. Exactly. We got exactly. Americans over there. You got. You got. Unfortunately, they want to put the religions. You know. Yes. Yes. Each other while we're all people. The people don't know what's going on in other exactly. countries, so they're trying to make other countries look like the enemies. Exactly. We're over there to take over their lives, to take their lands, to take their mineral rights, Resources. to take that of their weapons technology and even ancient relics of. Uh, the, the ancient races, the, the, the first gods, the first people that were ruling all these other empires. There is ancient technology left all over this planet. A lot of the older civilizations buried it because they considered it to evil. Are you evil. recording me? They were, they were yeah. The... Are you recording Yes, is that okay? No, I'm not. I don't want to be recorded. Sorry. Huh? I apologize. No, but then it's going to stay, isn't it? I wish I knew about it. Um, this is like on Facebook. No, I don't want to. Because I'm 15 years old, son, and it's been, it's been a while. I have a tough you know, life. I lost my mom a few days ago, too. Two oh, years God, ago, I'm I lost sorry. my husband, you know, because of this. Sorry, it's been so I wish I wasn't. So you recording live on Facebook? Uh, yeah, it's a video feed. Yeah. But but my feed's only visible to X amount of people. Oh, I don't know. You would have told me that. And somebody said he doesn't mind you. Know. I didn't thought that you were recording me. Have you, have you heard that book, Confessions of an Economic Hitman? No, I don't think I've read that one. John Perkins. So can you? They go from country it? to country. I, they, I can't. I can delete it off mine, but if anybody else is following it, they're, they're watching it. It doesn't mean they're going to remember it. How could you? Like no, no, I mean, how could you not tell me that you're recording me? That's a, that's a pushback for the TI, you know, as a matter of fact. Well, there's a lot of people here with the cameras on yeah. everywhere. Everybody's got a camera on, you know. Um, and the other lady kind of put me into this one, you know, without telling me you that you're recording. She didn't think she doesn't mind to talk with you. But anyway, you know, oh, okay. oh.
People are scared to death. Man. People are scared to death. Only 25% of us are first world citizens and people don't want to face the facts. Right. How can we not join three, four, seven, nine, 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 she can't blame anything on here for what she's going through. She's already acknowledging that this is happening to her. She's a victim. That's why she's here. She also came down here to do this. Um, you know, so I can't say it's going to make it any worse. On her. Once you're a victim, you're always a victim. You might even like, they might lighten up when you're being outspoken. It might. You know, that, that's the only place we get our protection. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Your, your story's very well. Yeah, it's horrific. Our post is the only thing that keeps us alive. We expose them before they're able to fully carry out what they're doing. Yeah. Um, so it's sad. I apologize that uh, she was on there, but I, I, gave, I gathered hundreds of PDFs and I made audio books and documents for B2K victims. And it all explains all this, like a lot of hope and understanding. And there's a free audio Bible on there. Nice. Yeah, the, nice. The second book of Enoch's on here. And I think you're talking about ancient civilization. Mm -hmm. It was like a, before the flood, there were the Nephilim. Yeah, that of our creators and the fallen angels. They were just, yeah. And the, like the the half, half human, half heaven spirit was never supposed to exist. So they just roamed the earth as evil spirits. Until right. This big reset switch gets hit. I think Jesus is the answer. The Zoroastrians came to visit Jesus when he was born the Magi. Cause, and God, uh, the Old Testament talks about Cyrus in Isaiah. Right. Before the exile ever happened, the name of Cyrus was brought up. And the priest class of that kingdom was the Magi that visited Christ. Right. But we don't, right. we somehow don't plead with Islamic people just loving them. We and there's them not, a, there's not a lot of stuff. information on the Magi other than in a super advanced, knowledgeable, race of beings, like the record keepers of your magic, your this, your that, your, your sorcery stuff even, they, they were the holders of knowledge, basically. Um, this is for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at this. Guy give me an awesome little video here of his own work and Book of Enoch and other stuff going into uh, his weapons technologies, how they're being used. And, insightful information. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Indeed, indeed. I don't plan on checking out no time too soon, man. So, uh, I think I'm going to walk and find my water somewhere. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So, uh-oh, somebody's calling my name. Yes. Now it is 100%. Sorry, she's can, can, we, can you trim it out? Yeah, I can shut it off. I'm going to shut this video off for now. All right. Oops.